Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you guys that are new, I'm just gonna introduce myself. Um, my name is Ruhi Parikh and I am an 18 year old author. I've written plenty of books here and there, but um, I recently published uh, two of my dystopian books this year. They're all part of the same trilogy. Um, Subversion, it was published uh, January 4th of this year, and Conversion, the sequel, was published September 20th, um, almost a month ago. So yeah, pretty. they were pretty close by, and a lot of people have been DMing me, um, emailing me, whatever, and they've been asking me like, wow, like it was such a huge accomplishment how did you publish two books in the same year? I, you know, taken their questions into account and I really started thinking to myself like, how did I publish two books in the same year? So in this video, I will just be kind of talking about my writing journey and how I was like able to do this in like barely a year. And so yeah, let's just jump right into it. So as you guys may or may not know, I am a freshman in college and writing these books, I was primarily in high school, like the version I wrote when I was a junior in high school and it was like during SAT season. And then conversion I wrote as a senior in high school during college admission season. So as you can see, I was pretty much torturing myself writing um, my books during like the most busiest time of my life. But, uh, which is also kind of funny because now I'm gonna write the third book or the last book in the series during like final season. So don't we just love torturing myself? <laughs> so for Subversion, I'd say that I first wrote Subversion on Wattpad and it was really a challenge to write that book. Um, I wrote it in six months and you know, a lot of people started praising it. They were like, wow, it's such a good book. I like it. And I was like really thinking after a while and I was like, you know what? Let's publish it, you know? It's worth a shot. Yes, yeah, so I decided to go the self-publishing route and I edited Subversion for eight months and it was published earlier this year. So it was a challenge, I would say that. And then, um, like, I think like a week or two after Subversion was published, I was like, you know, really like on that high, like I was getting good reviews. A lot of people were, a lot of people were liking my book and I was like, let's write the sequel now. So I immediately started brainstorming the sequel. And then after that, um, I started writing the sequel and I wrote the sequel much faster. I wrote it in like three to four months and I edited it for six months and it was published September 20th. So like, it was a pretty fast journey, I'd say. Like, it was, while it was pretty speedy, it, there were like plenty of challenges involved, but like in the end, I managed to overcome those challenges. And that is when I will get down into the main point of this video, which is how exactly I wrote those two books and published it them in a year Ooh, a lot so the number one thing i feel like that really really pushed me to write those two books were to immerse myself into the world and now if you guys have read subversion and conversion um like the world is pretty pretty complicated there's a lot going on there are like characters who have like their own you know distinguishable personalities like a lot is you know a lot was put into consideration while i was brainstorming and writing these novels and um i feel like in order to really really get myself in the writing scene and you know pushing myself as both a writer and a creator i feel like i really had to immerse myself into the world and by immersing myself i mean like daydreaming about my book 24 7 in the shower while i'm sleeping while i'm walking around even when i'm, when I'm at a full blown party you know what i mean like i feel like you have to be like constantly thinking about your book like always thinking like a writer and then also like i'm a big fan of music like i connect writing with my music like i you know really live off of that so i feel like um listening to dystopian music constantly and you know putting my mind in that like in that mindset like it really really got my you know writing juices flowing if you may and that's how i really really pushed myself to write because i was constantly thinking about my book like i was so immersed in my own fictional world that i made you know like obviously yeah i had like writer's block going on in the middle i lost motivation there was school going on obviously like i had mentioned before like i wrote it like 
I wrote my books during like SAT season, college season. So it was stressful at times. And there was like, obviously times where I just could not write and I had to take a break for a bit. But all in all, like I was able to do it and it's anyone can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Besides immersing myself in my world, I feel like I had to constantly remind myself of my goals. And I'm a pretty big dreamer. Like I'm constantly dreaming of like, I don't know, being a New York Times bestseller or like, you know, um, doing a podcast interview, which I have, but like, like, you know, doing a podcast interview or interviews or in general, like going on like a late night show or something. I don't know, like just me having big dreams that seem you know a little like you know unachievable but in the end it really is clearly achievable because i don't think i would ever believe myself if i said i would be on podcasts but you know it's possible it's possible but yeah i just really had to like dream constantly remind myself of my goals of why i write of why i put myself through hell writing books during like the busiest times of my life and you know in the end still being glad i did that because i was able to write these books in such a short amount of time and in the end the hard work paid off because you know when you get an overwhelming amount of good reviews obviously there were bad reviews but like obviously the good reviews outweigh it but in the end like it was just it was just worth it and i feel like just reminding myself of why i write who i'm writing to you know like my my motivation my inspiration to begin with i feel like it relied heavily on me just constantly telling myself like hey if you don't feel like writing one day just know that like pushing yourself to write that one day will pay off because you dream and you want to become a writer you want to like you know share with the world your works or whatever it's just it's just you have to become your own best friend and you have to not bully yourself but push yourself to you know achieve, like a attain your goals or at least attempt to attain your goals like th like the attempt that you know you're trying itself is the biggest accomplishment of it all like whether you you reach your goal or not like like a lot of people don't even bother to try and you do not want to fall into that pile you want to fall into like the group of people who tried and that's all that matters lastly the other number one thing that allowed me to achieve this goal was to just stay dedicated and really it's as simple as that like just staying dedicated and you know staying on top of my goals and you know again on top of that reminding myself and then immersing myself into my into like the world like i it all piles on top of staying dedicated and keeping yourself on track keeping yourself in check everything above and beyond like it just all is dependent on you nobody else is going to push you not even like your bestest friend in the whole world like i said before you are your own best friend and you have to push yourself and that is literally all that matters so what i'm trying to say in the end is it's your work it's something that you made from the bottom of your heart from your soul from your mind from your body whatever like you made it it is a gift it is a gift god has given you the universe has given you and i feel like you shouldn't let it go to waste like if you have a gift for writing you should not you know throw that gift away because you're scared of that no one's gonna read your books like who are you to you know you know decide that for yourself who are you to decide that no one's gonna read it that your, your book is not good that the first draft isn't great because of course the first draft isn't gonna be great you're not a perfect person so you are not to decide what the outcome of your decisions is that is just for you to fully understand when once you actually do it and from there who cares what happens as long as you put in the effort and as long as you like sit back that one day you're like wow i published my first book it's like who even reads it won't even matter to you like if one person reads it okay that one person's gonna read it they're gonna love it and they're gonna cherish it forever and then they will be forever be like you know give me another book they will be your motivation you don't need like thousands of people to read your book and that's what i tell myself too like when i'm here doubting myself and thinking like oh what's the point in writing what's the point in investing so much money time and energy into my books if like no one's just gonna read it in the end and like i decided to ignore my negative thoughts and push myself because who am i to decide that for myself so in the end i just kind of you know push that away 
and i'm glad i pushed all those thoughts away because look at me now like you know hence the title of this video like i'm glad i did this and normally i'm not one to post myself and it's actually, it's actually the opposite i always shit on myself but like i will for once you know thank myself and pride myself for doing all this because it is a huge accomplishment i hope that was really helpful and motivational for you guys this was like i hope you didn't find this boring because it was just me talking and sitting and just rambling to you the entire time but i hope you got something out of this and you know more than just like what i've accomplished but also like what you can accomplish too but um i hope you guys have are having an amazing day night evening midnight dawn whatever um i hope you guys enjoyed this video to make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys later bye